In a very significant development, the Aeronautical Development Agency has started ground-level trials on the first assembled prototype of the one-ton Swift unmanned combat aerial vehicle, which is being used as a technological demonstrator for the 15-ton Aura Stealth unmanned combat aerial vehicle. The first assembled Swift prototype will now be involved in a series of low, medium and high-speed taxi testing, to ascertain aircraft's performance and instrumentation from a ground control station to verify the functionality at accelerated speeds. After the collected ground test information is in the required parameters based on the final test verifications, then preparation for the flight testing might be carried out in the next few weeks. We had reported in January 2021, that the combat vehicle's research and development establishment had delivered retractable landing gear systems for the SWIFT program, and now the Aeronautical Development Agency will also collect data on the controllability of flying wing configuration, autonomous takeoff and landing technology, retractable landing gear system, flying wing design, and low radar signature data of the aircraft, that will be used for further improvements. A brand new advanced variant of Agni-1 missile known as the Agni Prime will be flight tested from a defense facility on 28 June. The 1,500 km range Agni Prime will be lighter than Agni-1 variant, and has been developed with the cutting-edge technologies used in the Agni-4 and Agni-5. The double-stage Agni Prime will have a canister version with the flexibility to be fired from both road and rail mobile launchers, and will be guided by inertial navigation systems based on advanced string laser gyroscopes, and both stages will have composite rocket motors, and the guidance systems are equipped with electromechanical actuators. Malaysia's Ministry of Defence has officially launched a tender for the Royal Malaysian Air Force's Light Combat Aircraft and Fighter Lead in Trainer program. According to the ministry's website, the service aims to acquire an initial 18 aircraft, and that the request for bids will close on the 22nd of September. Eight aircraft will be primarily configured for lead and fighter training, while the remaining 10 would be light combat aircraft. Malaysia also aims to procure 18 more fighters in second phase by 2025. Malaysian Air Force pilots have already evaluated the Tejas light combat aircraft, and a Malaysian team will be visiting Bangalore in the next few weeks to have a tour of the Tejas production facilities. Tejas offers a major advantage to Malaysia, as it provides easy integration of both Russian and Western weapon systems, which is already available in the Malaysian arsenal. Russia has made an upgrade pack presentations of the Dragonov sniper rifles to the Indian Army, and a field demonstration has been planned in July, to showcase its improved accuracy and ease of use of the modified rifles. Russia has offered the upgrade pack as a low-cost alternative, as at the cost of purchasing one new sniper rifle, India can easily upgrade four of its Dragonovs for future service. Russia is offering a one-pack upgrade set, which includes new optics bipods and mounting platform, and a long free float for end at the same time, and officials have said, that the upgrade could also have make in India component, and production lines could be set up at existing factories in India to manufacture the upgrade kits. The Indian Air Force and Indian Navy has started a two-day joint multi-domain exercise with the US Carrier Strike Group in the Indian Ocean. The Su-30 Jaguar Strike Aircraft PA Time Maritime Aircraft and IL-76 Refueling Aircraft and several warships of the Indian Navy is participating in the exercise with the USS Ronald Reagan and a guided missile destroyer and guided missile cruiser, along with F-18 fighters and E-2C Hawkeye early warning aircraft. The high-tempo operations during the exercise include advanced air defense exercises, cross-tech helicopter operations and anti-submarine exercises, to boost combat skills and enhance their interoperability as an integrated force. Oh,